Howdy folks. How big does the minimum degree of a graph have to be to guarantee the existence of a cycle within the graph? Turns out, not very big. That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. If the minimum degree of a graph G is at least two, then G has to have a cycle. So this is lowercase delta of G, that's the minimum degree of a graph. This means that every vertex in G has to have at least two neighbors. That's going to force G to have a cycle. The proof is pretty straightforward, and it begins with an object that we use in a lot of graph theory proofs, which is a longest path in the graph. So we're going to say, let P be a longest path in our graph G. We'll just uh, name the vertices of P. We'll say it starts at V0. We'll let VI represent an arbitrary vertex on the path and the path P ends with some final vertex Vn. We don't know exactly how long P is, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is that P is a longest path in our graph G. There may be other paths in G that have this maximum length, but that doesn't matter. We're just taking some path of maximum length in G. Now, how can we use this path to guarantee the existence of a cycle? Well, consider the last vertex of the path Vn. We know, certainly, that the degree of the last vertex in our longest path, the degree of that vertex Vn, has to be at least 2, because the minimum degree of the graph is at least 2. We know that one of Vn's neighbors is Vn minus 1. That's the preceding vertex in the path, because consecutive vertices in a path are adjacent. So this is one of the neighbors of Vn, but since Vn has at least two neighbors, we know that Vn has at least one other neighbor besides Vn minus 1. Now, if that at least one other neighbor doesn't lie on the path P, then we could extend P by going from Vn to that other neighbor that's not on the path. But that would be a path that's longer than P, contradicting P being a longest path. So that can't be. The at least one other neighbor of Vn cannot be outside of the path. It must be on the path. Now, among those other neighbors of Vn that are on the path, Let's just pick one of them and call it VI. Then, here's our cycle. We can go from the last vertex VN to its neighbor VI that's on the path, a neighbor other than VN minus 1, and then just proceed along the path back to VN. And that is our cycle. So there is our cycle written out. We go from the last vertex in the path to that neighbor that we know exists on the path, that neighbor Vn other than Vn minus 1, and then we just proceed back along the path all the way up to Vn. And that is our guaranteed cycle in G. So let's run through the logic one more time. We know that Vn is adjacent to Vn minus 1, the vertex that precedes it in the path. But because the minimum degree of the graph has to be at least 2, we know that Vn has at least one other neighbor. If that other neighbor lied outside of the path, then this could not be a longest path because we could go from Vn to its other neighbor to get a longer path. So it's at least one other neighbor has to lie on the path. Among its other neighbors on the path, besides Vn minus 1, let's pick one of them, call it Vi. Then we can go from Vn to that neighbor Vi, proceed along the path back to Vn. That is our cycle in the path. So, if a graph has a minimum degree of at least two, if every vertex in a graph has at least two neighbors, that graph has to have a cycle. This is why. That's the proof. So, hope the video helped you understand this fun little proof. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons yeah. on the internet. Raising the Tobago's, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new, Wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. Another day on my schedule. Steady blocking the devil. I tell a hater, God bless you.